everybody we're back with more outer worlds we're back on the unreliable and there's a new dlc out there so i plan on running it because i just enjoy the outer worlds it's uh what is it called murder on eros i think it is yeah murder on Indronus. looks like it's a murder mystery of some sort so let's get this mission started this is picking up in the last one, we finished uh, the, uh, the the Gorgon missions, and before you go battle the uh, prison planet. So at the end of this, I'll go back to the prison planet and go through that one real murderous chaos. Let's see what we have here. We talk to no. Nope. Looks like we go here. Or do I not have it active? Let's see if I have it active. Uh, that helps. Yep, talk to you. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? Yeah, you mentioned the drama. Let's see what the drama is. Certainly, Captain. I was hoping you would ask. was the law forsaken parasites. I had become obsessed. My quest to stop them. To avenge my partner, Philip. And my ex-partner, Bernice. And Lieutenant Jurgen. And those two informants had brought me to Rizzo's distillery. But it wasn't just the triple distilled deliciousness of Rizzo Spectrum brand vodka that I found there. It was death. I made sure the brain eaters paid the price. But at what cost to me? News Network with breaking news. Halcyon Helen has been murdered. Administrator Ludovico of Rizzo's refused to answer the big question on everyone's mind. Who will Spectrum Vodka's next spokesperson be? Claiming that a special investigation must be concluded first. Captain, we have a communication coming in from one Administrator Ludovico. Get off the transmission, Cedric. We agreed to let me do the negotiating. Law be with you, friend. I am Administrator Ludovico of the famed Eridanos Atmospheric Complex. But there's no need to stand on formality. You may address me as Mr. Yeah, boring, ADA. Let's watch something else. Ah, yes, they warned me about this. This is not an Aetherwave serial. This is a transmission. I am Administrator Ludov... Never mind. Let's just get to the point. Halcyon Helen is dead. Murdered. Her death is the tragedy of our lifetime. As the face of our new product line, her murder is a stain on the Rizzo's brand. She was scheduled to unveil our newest product, Spectrum Brown, before this tragic event. But we cannot move forward with our unveiling until we apprehend the killer. And your first thought was to come to me. What does this have to do with me? Why are you contacting me? The board doesn't like me very much. Helena Hossi is dead. Oh no! The chief of salvage finally got hers. Her scavenges. Oh, let's try that one. Is this some kind of sick joke? This is the freelancer we're trying to hire. All right, Ludovico, that's enough. You don't know what you're doing. Let me handle this. Captain Hawthorne, so glad to finally have a word with you. 
I would have been so disappointed if Ludovico monopolized your attention. Cedric Kincannon, Sublight Underground. I'm so glad we're hiring a third-party investigator. No one wants to see a troop of UDL guards stomping all over my hotel. Least of all me. The murder of Halcyon Helen is a heinous assault on this colony. I look forward to watching you find the miscreant responsible and drag them out of the shadows. I have a trouble to see the death of a two-bit actor as an assault on the colony. Let's go with that. Two-bit actor. Oh, Captain. This isn't Spencer Woolrich we're talking about. This is Halcyon <laughs> Helen, Princess of Periodicals, Duchess of Dramaturgy. You would not believe the money she made us on Dissident Busters. For law's sake, Cedric, could you show a little discretion and not bring up your contraband operations in front of an outsider? Ludovico, you wound me. I'm establishing rapport with our new contractor. Let's not give him the impression that you can't be trusted. Do you really want to do this right now, Cedric? You want to antagonize me while I'm negotiating a contract. Because I promise you, I'll win. Wave it in the air. Quit arguing, I'll start shooting. <laughs> Merciful law, I think he's serious. Captain, I'm Constable Maria Keene. Hiring a third party <laughs> investigator was my idea. <laughs> I've been studying your dossier. You're reliable and competent. You've been taking care of yourself ever since you arrived on Halcyon. And you're entirely independent. As far as I'm concerned, you're the ideal inspector for this case. Inspector Nabs! I like the sound of that. I'm pleased to hear that. The future of our complex may depend on your success. I'll leave you in the constable's care. Mr. Kincannon and I must have a word. Fine. Bud Rizzo's is paying for that hotel room. I can't tell you how grateful I am for your help. And even though they may not show their gratitude, I know Administrator Ludovico and Mr. Kincannon appreciate your involvement. Mr. Kincannon could lose his spaceport if board authorities took over the investigation. And if Rizzo's is forced to cancel its unveiling, we might never recover. Elsie must have been pretty popular if her death put an end to your operations. Those two seem to have some issues, that's for sure. You seem competent. You could have dealt with this. All right, I got everything. No, let's go with those two have some issues. The administrator oversees Rizzo's operations. Cedric runs the hotel and the spaceport. They're always at each other's throats. My life would be so much easier if they'd simply learned to work together. You sound a bit worn out. Me? Worn out? <laughs> Perish the notion. My days are filled with catering to the oh-so-reasonable requests of Mr. Ludovico and Mr. Kincannon. What's not to like? They seem like jackasses. Your words, not mine. Please don't take my lack of disagreement as anything other than fatigue. I am a content, productive, and happy member of our society. All right, you must have seen pretty pop. Oh, oh, that's the same one. Um, yeah, let's go with that one. She's Helen was more than popular. She gave something to this colony that no product line could ever provide. Real happiness. No one has ever been as well known or as well loved. Uh, outside of our courageous business leaders. Yeah, let's go with your comp. You seem competent. I represent the law, Captain. But what's happening between Mr. Kincannon and the Administrator is... politics. Politics are not my area of expertise. The law is simple. Politics are complicated. Alright. There's nothing I can't handle. I'm pleased to hear that. From everything I've heard, you're a competent freelancer. And, at the risk of sounding impertinent, we desperately need the help of someone competent. Thank you for your time, Captain. Whenever you're ready, I've authorized the Unreliable to land at the Grand Colonial. Transmission terminated. Captain, we are now cleared to land at the Eridanos Atmospheric Complex. 
I don't know why they're trusting me to catch Halcyon's killer. Yeah, I like that idea. There are several reasons why someone would hire your services. In descending order of likelihood, they are as follows. Desperation, confusion, <laughs> mistaken identity, inebriation, and genuine faith in your abilities. Uh, tell me about the place. Eridanos is a hydrogen Eridonos. helium gas giant, distinguished by a well-defined ring system. The Eridanos atmospheric complex is a system of land masses propelled through a thin layer of the upper atmosphere, where humans are potentially capable of surviving. All right. I check the journal. Oops. The, no, the journal. There we go. Make sure. Let's see. Uh, a weapon from the void. Oh, we need to do that. I need that that weapon. And I'm not making spacesuits. Let's do this real quick so I can get that weapon. And we'll start on this mission. Uh, Phineas. Yes, fast travel. Used to make noise. I think because I had to turn off all the music. We have successfully arrived at Phineas's orbital lab, Captain. All right. And we are still in one piece. Shall I congratulate myself? Yes. Or would you like to do the honors? No, you can congratulate yourself. All right. Hold down X. Who do I want to go with me? Uh, let's take Ellie. All right. Do, 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 do. This should be empty. Just in case, I remember that this was at one point. Yep, already did the battle. All right, good. All their corpses are here. I don't show anyone else being here. Good. Drink ray. That's nice to have. We already search all this stuff. Yeah, it looks like we searched everything else. I just forgot to pick that up last time. Make sure that this is empty. Oh, wait, it's not up. It's not open. Um, First entry, no, read that one. Second entry. Final entry, all right. So did I already, I have already got the rest of it. It was just the shrink ray, I guess. Oops, wrong one. Yep, a brand new world. Okay, that's the final mission, so we don't want that. So now we do that. Now we go start the the uh, download series. Now that I have a shrink ray, yes. Well, you never know. Look that you can see it travel in the air too. All right, let's get out of here. I just didn't pick up the shrink ray the last time I was here. Now that we got it, we can move on. Now this download, you're supposed to start it. Um, recommended start is after level 30. I think we're 34. Still planet we can't go to. Been a monarch. I think we've been to Olympus too, but let's start. Yes. We're now docked at Aerodonis's luxury landing pad. Okay. Oh, I thought I saw a green circle on Tartus. Ew. 
I need to make sh I need to see what the uh, our character has. Healers. She's got a machine gun at 58. Do I have better? Yes. I have a 120. Use that. To hit them with 61. Um, I think a 273 is much better. Uh, let's check out. Oh wait, I don't know what she's wearing. Um, 26, 58. Uh, Range weapon skills plus five. That's good. That's, that's... Yeah, I want that to have the medical. All right, let's check out. Uh, Vari. She's carrying around a machine gun at 128. That's good. And 295. Yep, those are adequate. All right. We're ready to go. Let's check it out. Ooh, big hotel. It's like straight out of Sim City, like uh, Sim City 3000. Or 2,000 when you could customize your buildings yourself. Oh, that takes me back. That is so straight out of SimCity 2000. Oh, Captain, it's beautiful up here. Could we, could we get more jobs like this one? <laughs> more jobs like this one. You know, I have a feeling this is not going to be no... Walk in the hello, park. hello, hello there. Hope your atmosphere entry head. wasn't too troublesome. As a guest of honor, you deserve the best in comfort. Sublight salvage and shipping underground, or slug, as we like to call ourselves, slug. is delighted to welcome you to Eridanos. I'm the Grand Colonial Head Bellhop. I'm here to grab your bags and direct you, the inspector, to the Grand Ballroom, which was the scene of the crime. Uh... You feel me? What's the mood of the hotel? Yeah, yeah, sounds great. I was promised a room. Uh, let's see if he knows anything about the murder. I can try. I was the one who found Helen's body in the grand ballroom. Corpse wasn't in the best shape. Aside from that, I don't know a whole lot. Helen was supposed to host the unveiling for Rizzo's newest product, Spectrum Brown. Until you catch the killer, the unveiling's been indefinitely postponed. Helen's death has been a shock for many. A lot of people are inconsolable. Hell, even Black Hole Birdie, Helen's bow has wandered off. Some folks think he had something to do with the murder, but I don't believe it. I still don't understand why anyone would have it in for Ms. Helen. We should ask if they're comping the minibar. This might take a while if you get me. Folks get heated when it comes to serials and their actors, I suppose. Um, she was distinguished figure. Typical show business. It's great. I don't know. Let's, uh... Not particularly. But I think some I folks see. were jealous of her success, or otherwise viewed her as a threat. Reckon how she came about her fame didn't help. How did she get famous, then? Huh. Why, she was a natural. People fell in love with her. She managed to wrangle up a following all on her own. She ended up about as famous and high-runged as your average VP, which rubbed a lot of Byzantines the wrong way. Actors ain't supposed to get preferential treatment. Let's see here. Oh, I already spoke briefly about the Spectrum unveiling, or lack thereof. It's still an awful shame. A lot of folks looking forward to that. Yeah, well, I thought you worked for Slug, not Rizzo. I do. Rizzo's happened to rent out the Grand Colonial Ballroom from Slug for the unveiling. A nice mutually beneficial event. But the murder's gone and ruined that. Along with nine out of ten of my favorite serials. Anyway, I think I've held you up long enough. Once you're ready, head down to the lobby. The ballroom is just behind the elevators. Meanwhile, I'll grab your bags. Uh, you're making fun, right? Your luggage, your belongings, kit, wherever you keep what you ain't wearing. 
you're still giving me a pretty blank look. Suppose it's none of my business, but do you just wear the same set of clothes all the time? Ah, <laughs> oh, this is the one I was going to say. <laughs> Maybe you should take the stupid hat off before you criticize my appearance. <laughs> hey, this is a hotel mandated piece of my uniform and it's very official. Even mm. if it is a bit stupid. Anyhow, I'll look for you in the grand ballroom later. <laughs> Hope you can unravel this mystery, Inspector. Oh, that is an ugly hat. <laughs> Okay, alive. what do we got in here? Nothing in the bin. Does this workbench do anything? Alright, I'm interesting to see what kind of weaponry, if they've added any. Um, they got... Tigger Lighter Impact Hammer 2. Anyone? They kind of got rid of the riot act for the the gorgons download them not really adding new weapons and uh, uh armor looks to the to the game i i didn't think about it at the time but i kind of get their point that you know the there were stronger weapons but not really different weapons so i'm wondering if how if they addressed it in this new one, or did they just say, no, no, it worked. We liked it. And kept it as status quo. I spent at the Grand Colonial. And you know what operational doors are because they're blue. Locked doors are red. Don't figure that's going to change for this. But there's still places we can't go. That I don't look like they, you could go there. Oh, spaceship, that's from the original. All right, let's see. High society cigarettes, ooh. Aren't we special? All right. Oh, doesn't my ship look fantastic up there? Ooh, there's a good space design for, uh, for space engineers. That's pretty standard, actually. Let's go down in the hotel room. Looks nice. Greetings, Inspector. No need to check in here. Your paperwork has all been processed. You should be able to find the Colonial right ahead. I don't have to check in? You know, a high-end hotel still has the same ugly elevator. Come on, guys. Give me a nice elevator. At least put the gold trim in the... Fancy place. I hope they're not expecting us to pay. What's that? Fancy place, but it's deteriorating. Oh, it said I was stealing. Well, we stole. Oh, look. oh, wait a minute. Doesn't look like we can walk over there. Doors looked closed. Must be the factory. I'll be. The front looks like something straight out of Louisiana ish. New Orleans, along the street front, except, you know, out of scale with that. All right, let's it's get to the curb. I can't believe someone so famous as Halcyon Helen could meet a fate like this. It really is a terrible shame. I absolutely adored her cereals. I almost can't believe All right, they miss her. Let's check out the hotel. Last roll of Halcyon. Speak to the constable. I wish I'd worn my muddy boots and the jacket with holes in it. Can you imagine the looks we'd get? 
I'll bet you 10 bits this is all just some sort of publicity stunt. Welcome to the Grand Colonial. Please make yourself at home. Oh, that hat looks even worse from the side. Okay. Black hole birdies disappeared, you know. That poor fellow. Oh, thank the law. Inspector, you don't know how relieved I am to see you. I was actually looking for the bar. Did they serve a drink with umbrellas here? <laughs> Let's go with that. Our dossier mentioned you had problems committing to a job. In accordance with Rizzo's company policy, I am required to give you this motivational message. I believe you will find that assisting your local Rizzo's security department is even more thrilling than the sweet, smooth flavor of Rizzo's Spectrum Vodka. Dr. Goodnight, ecstatic to make your various acquaintances and so on? Are we finished with the pleasantries? There's something I'm excited to show you. Her name is Dr. Goodnight. Not a doctor I'd go to. No, that's worse than Dr. Nick from The Simpsons. Not just B for bargain. Good night for, uh, no morning? No, good night. No, not, not cool. Not cool. Uh, I guess you're here to talk about the body. Yeah, let's go with that. What body? Oh, that. Goodness, no. This is far more interesting than Halcyon Helen's rapidly cooling corpse. Our coroner has developed a device which may prove useful in your investigation. Our office has instructed her to hand it over to you. Our office has instructed her to hand it over to you. Oh, please. You make it sound as if I'm turning over stolen goods. Behold, my discrepancy amplifier. Hold it in your hands. Feel the way it hums with ontological potential. Looks like a scope modified with computing device. I work with the materials to which I have access. Halcyon has no shortage of rifles. The discrepancy amplifier uses a deterministic model of our universe to detect the discrepancy between what should be and what actually is. Then it renders any discrepancies visible by using the power of magnification. Sounds like psych, you know, where they zoom in on the, on the, the detail that, you know, that is the clue. I like this answer. So it's simply a magnifying glass. It's, yes, it's a magnifying glass, but an extraordinarily powerful one. It looks through the glass of reality itself. I'm contractually prohibited from endorsing off-brand technology, but I'll bend that rule just this once. You'll want to peer into the amplifier and examine the crime scene. All right, the amplifier. Be sure to just equip the amplifier in a weapon slot before continuing your hunt. Okay. Doesn't hold. So, where's the amplifier? Well, if it's like everything else, it's the last item in my list. Okay, let's see. Um. I want to break it down. Great. It would replace my long gun. Uh, how do I not make it pick that weapon? Okay, there we go. Wait a minute. I meant to... Whatever. All right, so we'll do that. Can't use that. Don't need that. That's not it. All right. Skinning for evidence. Catch Hassan's killer. You'll need to use the discrepancy amplifier to scope to reveal clues not visible to the naked eye. Once you've located some evidence, aim directly. Zoom the lens, scope, and interact. Okay. What's this? All right. It shoots too. This, this 
This unit has detected a discrepancy related to Halcyon Helen. Unscheduled expiration of. Begin amplification. Yeah, what else can you do? Oh no. Yeah, let's go with that. The discrepancy amplifier has been programmed with advanced speech recognition, scientific analysis, and deterministic calculus protocols. Oh, you'll love this. Amplifier, tell the inspector about your features. Please do not interrupt the discrepancy amplifier. The discrepancy amplifier is programmed to take instruction from its registered or designated inspector. How curious. I must have set its impertinence levels to flagrant. This unit's features include an automated personality simulator. This unit has been programmed to simulate joy and satisfaction in assisting you. Enough talk, let's focus on the case. This footprint stands out from the normally spotless floor of the Grand Ballroom. Typically, the ballroom is cleaned twice daily, which means this must have been made by either Helen or her assailant or assailants. Taste the dirt. I'm all for taking pointless risks, but that's just disgusting. <laughs> the dirt tastes earthy, a faint woody and fruity undertones. Footprint is a tailor made 8.75, suggesting that its owner was very particular about their shoe size. It is also the exact size that Halcyon Helen typically prefers. There are traces of dirt throughout the footprint. Uh, can you amplify the dirt? These size footprints match anything you have. Oh, okay. The dirt carries traces of fertilizer, as well as the faint signs of crushed purpleberries and grass. Grass, fertilizer, and purpleberries can all be found in the purpleberry orchards, located not far from the Grand Colonial. Who did he read for? Well, I'm stumped. I'm pretty sure she was in the Purpleberry Orchards. In fact, it's kind of obvious. This deduction appears sound. Good work, Inspector. I had a feeling we'd make some progress once we brought you onto the case. You'll need Administrator Ludovico to grant you access to the Orchards. Contact him through the secure access terminal in your penthouse suite. Check in with the concierge. Your room should be ready by now. If it isn't, I may have to go shake someone by the collar. All right, we got a skill point. Woohoo! Our skill points. All right. All right, let's use the skill. Oh, wrong one again. Let's see, handgun. Oh, this is going to be a science-driven one, I have a feeling. Did I give her more science tech? Science. Use this stupid machine. I'm engineering 105. Go figure that one out. Uh, do you think the dialogue would be good? Dialogue 75. I guess let's pop up the science. 10 points. Science weapons, effective 33, 31.3%. Okay. Why? Yes. Except. All right. Guess we go to our room. Doctor, good night. Good grief. Hey, the bar. Thought I was gonna leave here without some help. Give me the big bottle. All right. Oh wait. What's uh? Let's. What's this weapon's damage, anyways? Damage of five. Oh boy. It's electric. Is it electrical? Damage. It's yeah. It's energy, and it damages at a five. Well, that is worthless. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Figure it out. She wanted some borst. Likelihood of Helen using her final moments to spell the first letter of the food she was craving. 
point zero 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 two percent. Well, if you're so smart, what do you think it means? Now simulating conjecture in hypothesis module. Hypothesis. This letter indicates the name of Helen's assailant. Isn't Black Hole Barry staying here? Correct. Bertie Black Hole Holcomb is a registered guest at the Grand Colonial Hotel. Anybody else I should know about? Yeah. Accessing guest database B. The Grand Colonial Hotel is proud to serve the following VIPs. Bertie, comma, Black Hole. Burbage, 3001. Make a note. This evidence has been recorded for later reference. Now generating pre-approved compliment. Splendid work, Inspector. Don't patronize me. So this thing works if you just have it out. Nice. I knew I should have gotten her autograph when I had the chance. You'd think these people have never seen a corpse before. Oh, I thought I saw something. With Halcyon Helen gone. Oh, no clue on that dude. We should try to solve the puzzle hedges in the orchards. The prize is supposed to be something valuable. Skylight. Nice. There we go. Is it you? I'm sorry, sir. But while the hotel is an active crime scene, I regret to inform you that all new bookings, room upgrades, room downgrades, and in-room massages are suspended. Oh, you're the special inspector. Mr. Kincannon warned me you'd be checking in soon. Who? No, let's just go with the simple one. Ah, yes. We are most pleased to offer you our grandest of grand accommodations, Inspector. The penthouse suite on our topmost floor is now available for you. The last guest left her belongings behind when she vacated unexpectedly, so we needed a little time to tidy the suite up for you. Simply call the elevator in the lobby and our highly skilled operator will deliver you to your private floor with efficiency and cheer. Wait, she left in a hurry? Yeah. Let's hear about him. My apologies, Inspector, but that would be a severe violation of guest privacy. We here at the Grand Colonial firmly believe that... All right, my supervisor just walked out of earshot. Some folks just don't understand the importance of gossip. About whom? And what would you wish to know? Uh, before she died, her black staying here. Who's co-star Woodridge have any reason to want her dead? Yeah, would the co-star want her dead? If looks could kill, he'd have put her in the ground ten times over. Man's clearly jealous of her success compared to his. See, I'd bet we're the only two people thinking about him in all of Eridanos. And I only am because you mentioned his name. If you leave woolly cow milk out, it turns to curds. Leave the curds out, they begin to get stale, then rot. Woolridge is on his way to the trash bin, and everyone knows it. Either he's in denial, or he knew Helen would be checking out soon judging by his increasing demands for a room upgrade. Uh, yeah. Black hole Bertie. Ah, uh, Bertie. Is he bigger than he is dumb, or dumber than he is big? I have a bet with a friend. Not sure we'll ever get it to pay out. Bertie used to be Helen's beau, though he isn't anymore and not just because she's dead. If I had a million bits, I'd spend every one just to learn what caused their split. Mm. And did you notice anything about Alcy and Helen before she died? You know, out of everyone here, I probably knew the least about Helen. I'm not much of an Aether Wave watcher myself. And Helen always had a crowd of admirers chasing her, you see. So she rarely stopped to chat. Friendly enough, surely, but always seemed untouchable. Emphasis on seemed. Yeah, was she closer with some people than others? Everyone wanted to be around Helen. She could usually be seen alongside Bertie or Woolrich, for obvious reasons. Alright, that's enough gossip for now. 
That's a shame, Inspector. What if I wanted to know a little about you? My feet hurt. You know, I feel like I just learned a whole lot about you anyway. I guess we should ask that. This is one of those mystery it things. It certainly so is a marvel of modern ingenuity, luxury, and ambition. Please, allow me to answer any curiosities you might have about our building and the amenities on offer. Uh, what does the penthouse offer? Twice the size of the next biggest room, and kit it out with any amenity you want, as well as many that you won't. Best to enjoy it while you can, Inspector. Typically, the only people who can afford the penthouse suite have enough bits to suffocate everyone on Terra 2. Also, please inform me if Woolridge gives you a hard time about getting a better room than his. Don't tell him I said this, but everyone on staff wants to strangle him. Yeah, nobody likes this guy. Ex the ex-boyfriend. Anything special about the upper levels? Most certainly. All the important folks can be found in the utmost parts of the hotel. You can hardly walk three feet without bumping into a tossball great or a bored exec. Though maybe don't bump into them. Could be harmful to your health. Great. Violence. Fun! Uh, no one seems to talk about the lower levels. Who would be interested in a staff-only area? Most folks never ask about the sewers beneath a Rizzo's plant, either. Yeah, well, we trips through them all the time. Uh, don't lump yourself in with the co-workers. Not mincing words, huh? can't honestly tell me there's nothing interesting. Of interest to your investigation? Well, I suppose there is that one door we're not supposed to open. But I'm sorry, Inspector, I'm not authorized to grant you access to any staff sections of the hotel. You'll have to find a way in on your own. All right, a mystery. A mystery of mysteries. All right, that's enough. If you're sure. No, but it'll do for now. I'm sure we're supposed to ask more about the hotel. Something tells me I should ask more about the hotel, but I'm not going to for now. All right, let's just go to the room. Give me. Hello there, my inordinately esteemed guest. If my hello were any more earnest, this loudspeaker would explode. What authorized floor can I bring you to? Uh, let's go to dumb. Don't worry, lady. Get you out of there. There we go. Huh? I'm not trapped anywhere. Oh, wait, wait. I get it. This is one of Norville's pranks. Almost got me that time, Norville. Now, can I bring you to an authorized floor? Oh, yeah, penthouse. Next stop, the finest seat in the house. We didn't even get to see the elevator. I wanted to see if it was ugly like the rest of them. So she should have been on the penthouse floor the whole time, too. What does this say? Ministry. Inspector, I understand you've visited the scene of the crime. Halcyon Helen was an important cultural icon. She will be sorely missed. Uh, I still don't know why you hired me. Nope, you mean Ruth. Halcyon Helen was more than a character. She was a brand. Her death will now be associated with Rizzo's Spectrum Brown. You understand why that worries me. I get it. You want to be responsible for a drink that kills people. Any publicity is good publicity. Just turn it into an ad. Rizzo Spectrum Brown. It's heart stoppingly good. There we go. Stop. Please warn me before you provide me with unsolicited ideas. There are waivers you need to sign. Back to the matter at hand. Tell me about your investigation. There's definitely a body. I also think I stepped in something purple. Ah, I see. That's truly special. I'm going to have a word with Maria about your qualifications. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I'm granting you access through the gates to the orchards. You're officially authorized to see this investigation through to the end. There is one caveat. Cedric's being rather intransigent about letting you into the spaceport. 
Possibly he's trying to hide something. Possibly he wants to annoy me. Possibly both. You can't keep your people under control? Oh no, yeah, I like that. So we locked the door the moment an investigator arrives. That's not suspicious at all. I agree with the sentiment behind your snide remark. Unfortunately, the Piraeus spaceport is Cedric's purview, not mine. You have a lead to chase. Law speed, Inspector. Alright, let's see this glorious penthouse. Or is this whole thing my... This whole thing my room? Now, I'm curious because the penthouse... Supposal... Sus Supposedly, person left in a hurry. Pick up spatial attune sensor. The heck is that going to do for me? Uh, oh, plus one to uh, perception. Uh, interactable highlight range. Bonus extra. Oh, well, it's not as cool as the hat, but I'll take it. We're going to need high on pers perception. Um, maybe I should. Uh, I'll worry about the suit later. Can't leave the bits hanging around. Purple berry munchies. Oh, wait. All right, Spectrum Brown, more liquor. Thought they didn't release it. They sure got a ton of it lying around. Oh, check that out. That is cool artwork on it. Is that a horse? Ah, uh, for a second there, it looked like a lion. Leo the lion. All right. I'm gonna have to dump all this stuff at some point. Hey, Sam's here. My cleaning, my cleaning equipment. So everybody from the ship has come here. There's the vicar. All right, so my crew's here. And. Yeah. Discrepancy detected nearby. Got that right. He wasn't kidding about it. She left this room a mess. Helen, where did we go wrong? Oh, Lord, I'm so sorry. That didn't mean for. <laughs> that discrepancy ah it... hey what what oh man disappeared too fast it... not cool great I gotta wait maybe I can uh, pick up the cool journal Pearls of Gorg Gorgon. No! Ah! Codex. Maybe it's in the Codex. No, that's the recording. We got that one. Dang it. It's just gone. Uh, 
Oh. Following Hamill's murder. Administrator. Read the lock down the spaceport. Oh, it doesn't tell me what I want. Shoot. Uh, it's not going to be in there. Well, clue's gone. Darn it, I knew there was going to be a clue in here, and it's gone. And we have the recording, but we have that. What does the uh, computer show us? Um, guest advisory. For safety responsibilities. Messages from administrator. Thank you for choosing. Yeah, that's fine. So we just don't understand. The productivity queen track down the pamphlet profitability. I understand why you and I must be enemies. Are we both branches on the same tree of privilege? You command an audience with your mastery of performance on the our ether wave. And com I command the attention of our corporate leaders. We both cultural icons with a responsibility to set a good example. I'm disappointed to discover you've betrayed my seminar publicly, publicly and an official recording. I take particular unbraced in your characterization of my most recent seminar. Spearheading your project, how to motivate your workforce using ancient weaponry and, or as I, and I quote, non sequentially vanity project from a dead in the wool buffoon. These are fighting words. Expect to hear from my personal auditor soon. Okay. So. Who is the profitability, the profit of profitability? P.O. From Cedric Kincaid to Ruth. You're a talented actor. I enjoy all your roles across the years. I'm especially fond of your performance in Terra on Monarch. Luva doesn't appreciate the serial. Maybe that's why he never knows when he's being played. He still thinks you're here to endorse Spectrum Brown. Your performance has him fooled. I've been, I have a feeling I know what you're up to. It's always a little disappointing when the audience is a few steps ahead of the plot, etc. Okay. So we need to find out about this pamphlet. Weapons parts in the bathroom. Okay. What are you doing in here? All right. Well, I am really excited about playing this game. Um, I'm hoping it goes somewhere. I'm hoping the action shows up soon. But right now, it looks like we got ourselves a mystery afoot. So, we're playing a little Sherlock, I guess. And, oh wait, a number of cigarettes indicate the smoker lifespan has been short for approximately 11.2 years. This is a fun game to play, or, yeah, it's been a fun game to play. Rather entertaining. Storylines are interesting, and I can't wait to get into this more. But right now I have work in the morning, so I need to get some sleep. So I will pick this up in the next one. I hope you find you well. You're staying safe in the world of COVID. And you enjoy my videos. And you can show that by hitting that like button and subscribing to the YouTube channel. And I will see you in the next one. Later!